after the long wait, here it is, Death Stranding. In my first two hours of the game, uh, there are some things I want to tackle here, you know. Um, there were some of the leaks that they were saying about the cutscenes being, you know, you play the game cutscenes, you play the game cutscenes. Let me just tell you this. The beginning is very slow. That is definitely, sure, that's for sure. It is a slow beginning. It is a slow burn. It really is. Um, but it is designed for you to actually get into the the, the feeling of the game and, and the vibes of the game. It's designed to take you from whatever vibe you are feeling at that point in time into the game's vibe. So it literally takes you away from whatever shit that you're dealing with. You know what I mean? And it, it implants you into this world and you, you're going to need to soak up the ambience of this particular game. Um, they do hold your hands heavily in the beginning, but it, fret not. It has, you know, they're not forcing you to walk <laughs> like most games where you can't, you can't do this. Like for instance, Red Dead Redemption, they kind of forced you to walk and you're like, fuck man. But no, they give you bite sized gameplay, um, you know, throughout the beginning. So you can kind of get the feel of the game. Um, and just get used to just get used to everything like as you can see here you know um you fell off the bike and stuff like that um they kind of feed you little gameplay pieces and in this particular case they wanted you to learn the um interface you know what i mean um pick up the uh how to how to pick up the equipment where to put it and stuff like that get used to the controls and you know how to tilt your character and things of that nature so they really kind of you know kind of baby feed you in the beginning you know because this is a different experience it, it really is the way that the guy controls the way that sam porter's bridges controls it is different it is very very different i'll get into that later on in this video but it is different but as for the people that say that you know it's a real it's so slow and it's so boring it's not you can't force the game most people are trying to force the game to uh, and just kind of push through it and try to figure out the mystery. I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but I can tell you, you cannot force the game. You cannot force the game. Let the game do what it's going to do. Let it, let it do it. Let it do it. And you will have a better experience. Um, it is a lot shorter in terms of the beginning than Red Dead Redemption 2. That shit was it, ridiculous. It's like 20 hours into it. But um, that's how my beginning was. It was pretty chill. It was pretty chill. So anyway, next off is the graphics. The first thing you see is how ridiculously beautiful this game is. It is not just beautiful on a technical level, but an artistic level. It is outstanding. It, I, I can't stress it enough. These b these models, the environment, like the complete, just the lighting, it is ridiculous. You would think, like, how the fuck are you going to top this on a PS5? This looks like a PS5 game. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, incredible. You got some low res textures here and there, but like, I mean, you really got to look for flaws in this game. You honestly do. Like, you have to really look for flaws in this game. You That is an actual in game model that you see there. That's what he looks like in general. Just walking around. Just walking around. This is what he looks like. I, I mean, like, like, his arm was to me. Seeing how the game is, that was a little bit low res, like goosebumps and stuff like that. I think they, you know, tweaked it and stuff like that to make the game run a little better. But honestly, I haven't seen anything like this shit before. I don't know how they're doing it. What kind of texture mastery that they're doing. The fluid dynamics, whatever that black shit is, I don't know what they're doing. But it is incredible. It is incredible. It's so, but it's not like in your face incredible. It is like... You forget that you're looking at a game. That's what happens. It's so seamless. The cutscenes are seamless. Just the way that the game play. The, I mean, the way that the, everything looks is seamless. The cutscenes are super seamless and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just, whew, 
I mean, you get stuck playing this bitch. I didn't get that much sleep. And this game, for a game that's supposedly boring, the visuals kept me, like, right into this bitch. Like, it was really, really good. I, I can't stress that enough. I don't know what they're doing. That Desma engine is dumb powerful. You know what I mean? It's dumb powerful. Dumb, dumb powerful. Next. The cinematics. You know like how most games, they allow you to kind of control the camera and shit like that, right? And you're like, um, you know, you play the game and stuff like that and you can control, but in this particular case, it almost served the purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you look at the video now and you're in the back of the truck and you can move it around, you know, and it still has some kind of, like it still kind of controls it a little bit. You know, if you just let it go, but you get to see your surroundings and what is chasing these guys here um, and how it is. It really puts you, it seats you right into the gameplay. Like it's really fucking nice. And all the cutscenes are seamless. Seamless. There's no fade in the black. There's no, you know, stopping the character, you know, and then you can see the gameplay. I mean, we're talking about like Naughty Dog esque, like, you know, seamlessness. Like, I don't know how, I don't know how The Last of Us Part 2 is going to top this shit. Because The Last of Us Part 2 is not as big as this game. Not at all. And you getting these kind of visuals in an open world game, I don't know. But like, yeah, the cutscenes are fucking top notch, top notch, and the controls. You know, I mean, yes, the game is heavy in cutscenes. It's super, super heavy in cutscenes, but they allow you to interact with it and be a part of the cutscenes instead of just watching it, which is a breath of fresh air. Not many games do that anymore, where you you know you know you have control over the cameras not many games do that usually they do all this fancy camera work and you can't you have no control over it but this one you can control it and, and, and look at that i'm looking around i'm like what the fuck it's it's too super involving super involving next gameplay now i've when i was playing the game i was taking some notes i was taking some notes here and um, here's some of the things that I actually uh, jotted down in terms of gameplay. Um, people complained about the controls and how this game controls and stuff like that. You remember how I said earlier in the video where it, you know, he's he feels different, like it's different. It is. How can I put this? <clears throat> it feels like you're walking on the tightrope at all times. I know in the cuts, I know when you were watching previews and things of that nature, it looked like he it just was walking, but you're constantly, constantly controlling your character and, you, you know, um, in alternate ways. It's not just walking forward. You can, you know, you're always in control of the character, whether you're tilting, you know, whether the terrain is, you know, is on a slope and stuff like that, you know, all of that takes into account of how Sam reacts. And it was really fucking cool to be involved every step you walk. There's a lot of momentum too. So it almost feels like you're driving a car. I said this before and I was absolutely right. It feels like you're driving a car. So when you run, you have to slow yourself down. You know what I'm saying? When you turn, you got to take it to account. You can't just turn on a dime because you have weight, weight plays a big role and the game is constantly calculating the terrain how fast you're going and the weight that you have on you and that in itself is a totally new gameplay mechanic that you can't get anywhere else like i've never felt so involved with moving the character around i know it's walking but he really made walking super fucking fun and involving super good next How does this game stack up to Kojima's past games? Now, I'm going to sit there. I'm going to tell you um, the stealth elements in this game blows anything that you get from Metal Gear out of the water. I mean, 
it's easy to hide under stuff. The closest thing I can think of is Metal Gear Solid 2. You remember that one scene where you're in a tanker and, you know, you can hide in the pantry and they were coming at you and they had the different camera angles and stuff like that? Well, it's like that on steroids. So, like, I'll reiterate. There was a part where you can crawl under one of the... Um, one of the pantry um, or can, uh, the things where you can put your bread stuff like that you're under there and they're searching for you and they're opening drawers and they're looking under things and you're like fucking totally terrified because they're coming at you well in this particular case you have to hold your breath but then your breath is not just hold he's not just like shallow breathing he's holding breath which causes you know some stamina to deplete so if you stand still and hold your breath, you're fine. But if you walk around and hold your breath, then if you start breathing, they automatically will jump on your shit. It is super tense. It's not that it's scary, but it is super tense. It's oppressive. It is super oppressive. Um, it is impressive. As as it, it, I mean, it's, you're not hiding under anything, but yet there's it's pure stealth. You know what I mean? There's nothing, there's nowhere to hide, but yet I feel like it's stealth with this whole mechanic. It is on some other shit. It's a whole new level, and it feels totally different. It feels totally different. It really does. Um, and it's some of Kojima's best work. It really is. Next. Final thoughts. With my two hours of gameplay, I'm going to... I'm going to say it. Kojima games, you know how the cutscenes are, and you know they're very extraordinary. They're very like over the top and you know super stylized and stuff like that. I mean, you can just look. Let's just take a look at here. Just take a look at this. You know, just look at it. You have so much control, and it's very tense, and I'm just getting out of dodge. You know, he controls excellently. You know, I, it's very fun to control Sam Porter uh, Bridges. It really is. And I thought that when this happens, you you have to fight a boss. But they give you an option to, like, jet, you're, you're out. I, I was like, nope, nope, nope. And I'm sitting there hopping around, and I'm like, I got to get out of here. And as long as you get, get out of the Kyrelian Ky uh, liquid you're fine you know what i mean you can continue your mission it was pretty cool like a lot of intuitive things but going back to what i was saying before when it came to um i guess that was the arena you can get out of it so i didn't know you could do that but either way um his games play like a surreal dream that's what it plays like so the baby and everything like that i i get it it just feels like a dream it's very strange like his games like when you not, when you're not playing it or if you're looking at it from afar it doesn't make sense but when you're playing it everything makes sense that's all i can say another thing is too pc people are going to be in for a treat i feel like this type of game resonate with pc players because they are used to games like this you know what i'm saying i they, they're used to games like this different different types of games this these are the things that they're super used to um, and I feel like it's going to be super successful. You're, you guys are going to be in for a treat. In terms of the graphics, I don't know how you can get better. I really don't. I don't know if you can. I don't know how you can get better. Another thing I want to definitely say too is that I didn't think I was going to get attached to the stupid baby. Oh man, I didn't think I was going to get attached to the baby. It's early in the game. Like the first hour is cutscenes. I will say mostly cutscenes. The second hour that I played is straight gameplay. And they had this one scene where <laughs> you're walking away, you give the baby to somebody else because they say that the baby is defective from, you know, and it's early in the game. So that's a spoiler. You know what I'm saying? So one of the cool things that they did in the game was I was like, are you fucking serious? So you relinquish the kid and and the little tube, he's reaching out for you and stuff like that. And I did. I'm not going to lie to you. I felt some type of way. I did. I felt some type of way. Um, I was like, holy shit. By the way, last thing I want to say, the only flaw that I see in this game, because everything is, I wish it was day and night cycles. I do. I, I, it would have been more tense, 
and fight the BTs and stuff like that, and and then hide out in the rain until you know sunrise and stuff like that. I would have, I would have liked that. I would have liked that a lot. But you know, it is what it is. But that's one problem, and then not problem. That's a complaint from me. And then the second one that that is legitimate is the menu system is super fucking oppressive. It's a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a lot to go through. It is a lot to go through, so I'm just saying you're gonna have to get used to that shit. <laughs> it is it is a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff, and it's hard to kind of read. It's a lot of text. Um, it's stylized looking, you know what I'm saying? That's cool, but there's a lot of text. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys liked or disliked about the video, and if you liked it, I would really appreciate this up. I really would. Um, it helps grow the channel, um, and. That's my two hours. I'll, I'll keep making these videos if you guys want it. You know what I'm saying? But that's how my impressions are for the two hours. Anyway, peace out. I can't keep my eyes off you.